Hey guys, we're hanging out with Chris Sullivan from This Is Us and Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Thanks for pouring hot candle wax on us earlier. No, you're welcome. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> you really scarfed it down. Okay, now, This Is Us makes America cry on a weekly basis. So True. we're going to have a very sad interview where hopefully we will cry. We're going to be asking some sad questions. Okay. We're going to be chopping onions the entire time. And we might have some sad elements brought in throughout the interview. All right, then. Um, and I think I'm going to ruin my glasses because I don't, I don't want to be left out of the fun of this thing. All right. Um, now, you have released a bunch of fake teasers for This Is Us. No. Can you give us a fake teaser of, of what's coming up? You slowly begin to find out that uh, Miguel murdered Jack. Just, oh, we slowly find out? Yeah. yeah. No, oh my gosh. Everything else is a, it's a red herring. You realize that Miguel is slowly um, trying to steal Jack's beautiful Mandy Moore wife. Oh, that's yeah. sad. Boy, it's really, yeah. is it getting to you? Oh yeah. It's I hate it, I hate the spoiler. Okay, so three of your castmates were people's sexiest men alive issue, but uh -huh. you were not. How does that make you feel? It was actually you and the guy that plays the grandpa. You know, yeah, Ron, uh, Ron Cephas Jones and, uh, and myself did not uh, receive a nomination. Um, even though I am definitely closer to the Blake Sheldon category than Milo Ventimiglia. Yeah, it's especially insulting this year. It's especially insulting. If, if, if what you're looking for in America's Sexiest Man is, is washboard abs and tight buns, then yeah, I guess that's fine. But if you're looking for like a doughy or midsection, and you know, an extreme receding hairline <laughs> and a very well manicured beard, then I'm, I'm your guy. I feel your pain, man. I too feel like I'm sexy and should have been on it. At least your hair should have been. I know, right? I don't know how you guys do that. It's all fake. Are we the same age? Yeah, it's a t these are both two-faced. Are they really? Yeah. Guys, I, I hate to interrupt, but I just wanted to bring up, do you remember that time that um, that your dad didn't show up to your piano recital? Yeah, I do. I don't have a dad. <laughs> oh, God. So thanks for bringing that up, <laughs> mysterious producer lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really setting in, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think now would be a good time for Chase to come in and play that slideshow of uh, animals making sad faces we had made for this. So. Oh my God, look at little Puggy. Oh. <laughs> He's crying too. Uh, pugs were always crying. Oh, I, I hate cats. Oh, hold on, Steve wants to see this. <laughs> Who's Steve? Steve, look. Look at that look. Oh, look at that look, I see. <laughs> oh, there's a lab. What are oh. you looking at? He's looking at somebody else eating dog Oh no, food. look at the eyebrows! <laughs> oh my god, my eyes! <laughs> I can't! You're crying so hard! I can't! I... What is a monkey doing in there? <laughs> I don't know why a monkey's involved. How did a monkey get in there? Oh, he's looking up so hard. Another pug. Okay, okay get, we've got a full circle. Get it, get it out of here. Okay, uh, now we heard you were a Boy Scout and then you worked your way all the way up to Eagle Scout. I know that must have been hard. Uh, you're I know using it's not easy. Tissues in an odd way. You're using the whole box. I had an Eagle Scout project that, are you serious right now? I'm, nothing moves me like Boy Scouting. I had an Eagle Scout project where I made memorial benches at my childhood church that involved lots of coordination and planning and execution of a plan. So there were benches for dead people? Benches for people to come remember the dead. Oh gosh, that's, just, that's the saddest thing I could possibly imagine. You just sit and, and have, guys, I'm getting lightheaded with all this <laughs> sadness. Oh goodness. Oh, Chris, you were awesome as Taserface in Guardians of the Galaxy, the second one. Thanks. I don't think you were in the first one. No, that's the official title, Guardians of the Galaxy, the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't they put you in the first one? Because <laughs> Taserface hasn't been worked into the Marvel Universe yet. That's a good point. 
they hadn't found a character with a dumb enough name for me. <laughs> and spoiler alert, you died. It was so sad. Well, that, now hold on a second. I was in an explosion. You know, death was implied, but you never actually see my dead body. How do you die in This Is Us? <sighs> Can we um, bring in that little kid who dropped his ice cream cone, please? Oh, no. Oh, he didn't drop that it. little kid? There it is right there. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know what... Here, what... kid. This will make you feel better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? I don't have one. <laughs> Oh, it's so That's the worst. <laughs> What's even worse? I don't know what's sadder that he dropped it or that I really wanted some. <laughs> yeah, no, it seems like it would help a whole lot right now. Let's knife some ice cream. Oh, gosh. Oh, my oh that okay. helps. Thanks for coming in, boy. Yeah. What's sadder, an old man gazing out over the sea or a mother realizing that her daughter graduates high school and she won't be her little girl anymore? Definitely an old man gazing out over the sea, realizing that most of his life is behind him. He has so many regrets, and he doesn't even know where his daughter is anymore, because she doesn't call or write or email. She might email, but he doesn't know how to check his email. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> and that's the saddest thing of all. Think about all those emails that he'll never read. Gone unanswered. Gmail full. Chris. <sighs> yep. I'm all cried out, man. Uh, but to cheer everybody up, all of these onions we've made into delicious fajitas. Fajitas for the homeless. Brought to you by Red and Link. <laughs> Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Say, so you know what time it is. You know what time it is! You know what, don't pretend like you don't, because you do, you know what time it is. Hi, I'm Steven, and I'm from Murphy, Texas, and it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Thank you, Steven. Remember to click the bottom link to watch today's episode from the beginning. And click the top link to see our dogs eat hot dogs that we're gonna make for them because they're dogs in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land, 